So let's talk about report actions and toggle views, which includes drill down, drill through reports, and sometimes click actions. So normally we design reports where uh, we try to uh, click on a row and try to get some information from their internal portal and uh, get more detail about it. Drill down is something which will allow you to expand and collapse which uh, with the toggle view property. So if you have a report which has you know summarized information by department you can expand and collapse and see the implies within the department. Drill down and drill through are similar they are grouped reports with one difference that drill down allows you to expand and collapse in the same report but drill through will take you to another report with the given parameters. So let's first start with click actions. So I'll simply create a report here and then we'll put the name as products. Now We don't need the wizard, we need the normal report. So we'll select this and then again products. So we have got an empty report. Now I have four reports, uh, four products right now. Let's try to get them in the report. So we'll go here and we'll add a data source. So it's a local DB. I'll use the training database, we'll test connections, and then click OK. Now I'll create the data set. This is our data sets. We have got our fields product ID and product name. Let, let's get them in a table. So we'll create a table and then we'll add those product IDs and names here. Now what we want with this, these products, the products which are listed here, if we could get information like on clicking the product, it should take me to the Google page and then it gives the information about that product, it would be very informative. So let's right click here and go to the text box properties. Here we have actions. So in actions we can see we have go to report, go to bookmark and go to URL. So we'll use the go to URL and here we'll build our logic. So this is the Google search URL. So we'll copy paste it and then we'll add that here and then we'll add a field the field that is the product name in the search queue and just keeping the header colorful so that it should look good now let's preview it so we see now a hand icon gets generated which says that you this is a clickable item now if you click here you get information about pepsi if we click the second row we get information about coke now let's move on to the drill down and drill through report so this is our report one we have already created data source and data sets so let's add a table we've got our table here we'll select the data set in the tablix property and then we'll create a group above the details row and we'll name that as a parent group so we'll do the grouping on department id and we'll add a group header so we don't need 
this column because we are not going to make it as a tablix so department id and department name and then in the detail we'll add employee id employee name and ctc so now if we normally see this then the information come like this let's make the group bold so that it looks little different we should mention the group here now what we want we want initially it should come like it hr sales services and then we can expand them so we'll come to the details property we'll go to the visibly visibility will initially hide sorry show and hide display can be toggled by department id so initial toggle state is height now we'll click ok so here we get expand icon which we can expand and collapse anytime and get the details related to that this is called drill down report now we want to get the drill through report so drill through report uses actions so we'll just remove this table for now and we'll change our data set a bit so let's go to the data set properties and we'll simply do select star from departments sorry it's department and then we have got our fields populated here let's add them in a table here so go to table and then we'll populate department id department name we'll remove the third column now if we see the query the report looks like this where if i click on it it should take me to a page where i get the information about the employees belonging to it department so i'll create another report so let's add a new report and we'll put this as employee now in this report We'll create a data source. We'll put data source name as imp. That is employee. We'll click here. We select the database. Check connection. Everything is fine. We'll click OK. Here we go. Select the data source. Now here. So we have added a parameter and we will do the mapping of that parameter here so since we have not created any parameter we need to create one parameter here so we got the parameter and we see that mapped here now let's create a table department name employee id then we'll add two more fields here employee name 
and then CTC so let's make it bold so that it looks better and then we'll quickly check so we can see that parameter prompt is coming up which may not allow a uh, drill drill through so let's let's go and hide the parameter so default values hidden and then we'll go to the next report so this is our report now here we go to the actions let's go there click on actions go to report we can select a report so this is our report we'll add the parameter department id and then we'll select the field now let's go there the moment we click on hr we go to the new report with the details so somehow by mistake i have put department name there so let's go and see the employee okay employee name we had to we have put the department name name let's go back to the main report preview it so now we can see all the details related to employees so this was a brief video on report actions and toggle view subscribe to my channel to get similar videos thank you